things that we are talking about at E3 is we are bringing back four fan favorite maps for Black Ops 4. Four fan favorites, Dan. Wow, <laughs> let's go, like, baby. Uh, the first one that we're uh, talking about is Jungle. Uh, it's a map that oh my god. Made of Black Ops 1. It's not been Fuck yeah, dude. Black Ops 1, but it's one of our favorite maps for development. Um, and we just feel like it didn't get enough love, and so we've, we've remastered the jungle. Is that why? Yeah. Is that why you did that? Movie? Jungle, dude, let's go. <laughs> it's an awesome map, and it was, um, was awesome. and we've, you know, not only completely rebuilt. You will like it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't fine in the leak, was it? This will be available when? This will be available at the launch. Okay. Jungle? The on the game. list of multiplayer maps released? I don't think that was even on there. So that must be wrong. Uh, Slums. Yeah. Let's go. From the base level from the ground up, it's all new. Yes, uh, dude. Visuals, all new. I like it's slums. Some gameplay tuning, um, some changes to adapt to the mechanics of the game as they've evolved from Black Ops 1 to now Black Ops 4. Um, so that's the first one. Okay. Jungle. Slums. Slums is the second one. You can tell you want to talk about it. Next, we'll talk about how awesome it is and uh, the nature, like the competitive nature of, of that kind of thing. It seems a little ahead of mine. I know. I'm going to need my mic. It's all right. It's uh, fun to come back to. It's actually really a good thing to sort of remind ourselves what we learned then, right? Because when you go from one to three and things that had happened between those games, how fast two was, and then the verticality of three, and then yeah. back around again. Right on four to look at slums as a, you know as a pure great like you know design roller test case. It's like oh this is why these maps were good. These were why these maps are popular. And when you get to four and you come back to the ground, right? You got to it's kind of maybe slightly obscurely to say it's actually important to remind ourselves that the pace of four is more in line with one because you're not thrust jumping and you're not. Walking. Oh okay. I like that. Uh, so it's like a really good way. So slums for me, it was like, holy cow, this is the one. Call of Duty 3 in the background. Loved, right? PlayStation 2. That's, that's good because, you know, I love slums. Well, and so does the community. What's your tag? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no <laughs> way. Don't spoil it. What was it? Yeah, I want to know what it is. Fuck. One of our, uh, our okay. Okay. favorites from Black Ops 2. And they, um, you know, the community has asked for that to come back many, many times. And so it's, it's, it's a pleasure for us to bring it back. Uh, next up, we have Summit, which... Dude, I love Summit, bro. Uh, classic from Black Ops. I know, God. bro. <laughs> Dude, it came back in Black Ops 2, but... Yes. I mean, uh, we, we can do it again. I mean, we'll do it, it again. It was remastered and uploaded. Yeah. Yeah. The very first map you make for any game, game Summit's the shit. Mm-hmm. Summer, it's like... You're just like you're trying to get your mind around things and the and the and your, the, the level of self-criticism about the first map that you make and then somehow the second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever, you know, the, the, those maps are so much easier to get done. Uh, and Summit, you know, was a very popular map and as a map we liked. Okay, this is a map already confirmed, but... I'm most excited for Jungle, to be honest with you. I've always wanted to remaster. This is already confirmed, the firing range, so. Yeah. Do the fourth map. Okay. Firing range. Firing range. Um, Fuck yeah, dude. Statement? That's a statement. Nice. That's a statement. Yeah, there we go. AKA Studio. That'll be available immediately with Black Ops 4. Another. Let's say Nuketown's gonna be a season pass bonus or some shit, or if there is a season pass. Hey, one of the one of the guys that follow just tweeted out these four maps are already better than every World War II map. Literally, dude. Literally, that's facts, bro. First time we got really comfortable with the idea of parallel laning. That beats World War II fucking multiplayer maps instantly. Is that a Frank Wood statue? Yep. Next to Vondi? <laughs> I did not. Um, we are bringing Nuketown back for our fans. Um, and so a, Nuketown. A map that has been a, a, you know, it's, it's a map that we've reimagined every game and we've done something. Uh, you can't, you can't do a Black Ops without Nuketown. Come on. Um, yeah. With this one, we're kind of going back to the Cold War roots a little bit. Um, and it is, uh, but it's got a different twist. So okay. if you look at the very original Black Ops 1, wow. it's really built into that, that sort of uh, American ideal of uh, Damn. Cold War era suburban families. Suburban um, families. So make sure to tune in next Wednesday. Uh, keep an eye out. Cold from Black Ops 2? So it's a really exciting map. Um, it's a lot oh, it does. Rem- oh my God. Yeah, it does. That was a playable map, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, no, Cold was a DLC map. <laughs> This is, yeah, this is no, I'm saying this map right now. This, this was a playable uh, map for. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. This is one of the. This is one of the four. No <laughs> so, just kidding. No pirates. It looks uh, like a nice map, though. Underwater like, again. Hell yeah. Is, really Take that shit. Make. We really enjoy capturing that kind of that old vibe, wow. world vibe. Mixed with, um, you know, this new world kind of contraband under. Uh, under the radar, sort of smuggling ring. Uh, camped out here. 
there. So wow. um, it's got a lot of underwater content. I thought you glitched out of the party um, for a second. I heard the fucking bridge. PS the bridge is a, is a notification. Hot spot, <laughs> um, especially in Domination, trying to capture the B point. Um, and that's kind of what wow. this map is all about. Yeah. Uh, it also looks really good. <laughs> so pretty. Uh, and then next up, uh, I believe this is the new one, Frequency. Sure, we want to do the new one. Frequency, right, okay. Frequency. <laughs> gives me a um, uh, frequency is uh, gives me a, a, a skyjack and a frenetic because it was oh it does kind of vibe. Uh, that, that is really it's really cool. It's got, um, it's got a really great flow to it, um, constantly moving players around. Um, and wow, it, what was it? it what, looks was like, that, uh, what was it called in Bo Two? What was the map called in Bo Two? It's I think I know what you're talking in, about too. Uh, no, I'm saying, what was the map called in Bo2? The one with the, the what Skyjack was remade after. Oh, it's Hijack. Hijack. There you go. Hijack. Yeah. Wow. A little bit of that kind of uh, danger element to it, where if you remember, even you know, we talked about Summit. That was one of the first maps that we did, where we we added the risk of falling to your death. So you have to be careful in certain areas. Um, this is another one of those maps that you have to be a little wow. bit... Wow, this reminds me a little bit of uh, multiplayer map Rift, Black Ops 3, without all the lava and shit, though. Yeah. The layout's a little similar, I can see, with the rails and shit. Wow. That looks pretty tight. Holy fuck. Damn, dude, the graphics look so nice, though. It's all clear, that shit is, dude. Looks like a VR game. Holy shit. Cool. New game mode? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Control? And how Ooh. Works? Yes, Control. So Control is a new uh, game mode uh, that we've introduced in this game. We designed it um, with the goal from the beginning of really bringing out the best of the tactical gameplay that we have in this game. And, okay. And huh. sort of enhancing the role of the specialist play in combat where uh, you can really, you know, your team is going to work together whether they mean to or not. And that was one of the wow. goals of this game is that we wanted to introduce more teamwork with objective without dying. <clears throat> yeah. Sounds like game development. That's what All I right. do. Wins. This is intense. It's a great mode. Everybody. Wins before KD. Fans love it. Wins before <laughs> yeah. KD. All right. Wins Seaside. before KD. Uh, that is another map. Wow. Uh, Seaside is a uh, coastal, kind of old world town uh, in the coastline of Spain that's been uh, built Ooh. in with the site of uh, I like seeing new maps too, though. Holy shit. Why beautiful. does this map give me a, um, a vibe? Cars 2, Iron Man 2 no. vibe? <laughs> no, from, um, from Spain. I think it was from BO1. Holy it was shit. one of those maps from BO1. Um, village or something like that. I forgot what it was called. It gives me like that kind Ooh, of vibe. village, yeah. Oh, Villa. Villa, not village. yeah, Villa. That was in Cuba. Yeah, Cuba, it gives me yeah. that type of That's vibe. That's a great map. Actually, this could be a fucking... It looks like it'd be even a remake of Villa. That's how funny this looks. Wow, um, the layout's really similar. Uh, yes, yeah, so that that central courtyard wow. is a, is the site of it. Dude, look how oh my, look how clear um, this shit is. The food, the everything. Wow. Um, well, at the same time, having a lot of uh, tight, choking kind of flows oh around the outside. God. So if you want to take, for example, to go take the path of the wine cellar. Um, this game is looking like IW. And IW, it's like a PS2 fucking exclusive <laughs> <laughs> or PS3 at yeah, most. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> look at that water, bro. Wow. I do appreciate that the pastries and wine were left untouched. So that, that's oh, it's really Yo, this next map, though. Wow. <laughs> Those types of structures. Let me see what it is. Last but not least, payload. Payload, okay. Payload. I heard about this payload map. Payload is an ICBM facility, uh, a missile defense um, station that's built deep into the mountains. Ooh, the man. Yeah. It's just like a ray from Black Ops 1. <laughs> Oh man. Um, so you'll see Thanks, it's kind of like so that's a big hanger though. That's a different look at that development dude. Like, I can't even tell if this is a three lane map or not. Look, it could be anything at this point, dude. Holy shit. Look at honestly, like you really can't tell. Big missiles that's taken apart. Wow. Um, you can actually fight in and through it. Um, so it has some really kind of tight head to head spaces. Um, the way that the lanes connect up in this map are very different from how we traditionally do. Um, mm -hmm. and that that leads to some new kind of uh, strategic opportunities for how you might attack the center. Um, and that center spot, again, is a very uh, intense hot spot. Um, but we also have some really tight paths that we've put, for example, some hard point objectives on that are really hard to hold down. And so, you know, we want to do these uh, these kind of twists on the game modes to give players new experience. I like how it's like Black Ops 2 where it's not easy to just fucking get to the objective and sit there for the fucking, for three minutes. There's a lot of areas you can go over and flank, wrap around, dude. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, this is when the the beta, not the beta. I'm sorry, the uh, multiplayer reveal, the trailer. I saw the yeah, gameplay this map. Wow, that was really nice. 
Good job. All right. You've been busy with those guys. Huh? Yeah. That's, they've put in a lot of hard work, and they are, they've turned out great. Wow. I've got a couple announcements to, to close things out. before. DLC 6, there. please. Black Ops 3. Closing out <laughs> to you guys. Any, any last... Last thing to share. <laughs> anything? Well, we can't wait to uh, bring the game to I'm afraid I can't say anything uh, right now. Uh, Black Ops 1 Remastered? Wait, what? Well. Yep. Um, so Does this uh, say Black Ops 1 Remastered? Absolutely, but if you're looking for what's playable at the Activision booth, you'll see us. It's in the South Hall, uh, number 1001. Uh, you'll get to play the I see four it. maps, Contraband, Frequency, Seaside, Payload. And uh, it's also worth noting that we will have uh, a number of PC stations wow. set up. There's almost no point in having Black Ops 1 Remastered unless you want campaign and a little bit of multiplayer. I'll take a campaign. Uh, I'll, that, uh, I'll take a campaign. I'll take a campaign. I'll take just campaign uh, multiplayer. I mean, yeah, like that. yeah. Look at that Origins mystery box. Yeah. Fine, uh, damn bunting. The monkey symbol. The monkey bomb. Look. I have that right here on my desk. <laughs> wow. It's glowing too. That's dope. Following E3, following DreamHack, uh, Black Ops 4 will also be playable at the CWL Anaheim Open. Oh, there you are! CWL Anaheim. There you go. Black Ops 4 is playable. Uh, on the CWL front. You better bring my Elgato, man. Get some footage for us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> better fucking play that. Yeah, you're going to Anaheim. You live over there. For all of the new CWL men. Matches where, That's uh, it. Be Dude. I mean, I like how they didn't show us any footage of uh, the remasters, though, mm -hmm. or the remakes. And to everyone that tuned in today, give a surprise for the launch of maybe the beta. I don't know. We will see you back here at Treyarch soon. Have a good one, everybody. So wait till E3, man. Blundell's going to be talking and shit. Yeah. Dude. Damn, I'm so said, hyped, man. Dude, this, this Twitch chat is so toxic dude it's like where is the blackout beta where is blackout coming to beta i'm like dude really Come i don't I, I don't even i almost don't want yeah people are always saying beta, like dude. so it's... no blackout then yeah, dude, really? I... come on they were here to talk about multiplayer multiplayer only somebody just put on the comments gay blundell didn't talk <laughs> Hey, look at this, though. Charlie Intel just said exactly what I just said. The leaked map list that has been going around the last week or so is fake. 100% fake, dude. I was oh, about yeah. to make a video on it, so I'm glad I didn't. Because there's they didn't talk about standoff at all. They just brought that back in BO3, so I wouldn't see them bringing that back right away. I, I knew I knew it was um, fake. That's really funny, actually. That's always a I'm a one, one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven. We'll see them again at E3. And I think, what they say, June 13th? Blundell's going to be talking again? Yes. Um, at, uh... That's cool. Um, at the oh, Sweden something. In Sweden, I forgot. Sweden, yeah. I, forgot I, I don't <laughs> personally. I don't think Blackout's even finished in terms of development. I think they're still in the early stages where the game's not even playable. Like I, I don't think we'll even see much gameplay at E three. We might see like a clip or two, and we'll be able to analyze it to, to death. But I don't think we're gonna see like full on fucking gameplay. But well, I could be wrong. And I hope I'm wrong. We'll see. I'm more concerned about multiplayer because that's. I think that's where you'll see. A lot more people if they're not battle royale folks, you know. Like I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. The the game the cycle might end up turning into like you know zombies and VR is king, and then multiplayer is like that third extra mode, you know. Like and then you mm -hmm. never know how that affects uh, the future of COD. Yeah. Dope.